Hey, how are you doing today? I'm Candace from Feng Shui by Candace. Today I wanted to come and talk to you about the I Ching. So if you'll notice, I do these monthly videos called the I Ching Insights, and but you might not even know what that is, okay? So it's occurred to me through no thought of my own or prompting of any outside critique of my videos that people don't really know what the I Ching is. It's very popular in Eastern and Asian cultures, but not so much here in the US. So today I wanted to kind of explain a little bit what the I Ching is is so if you're watching me on your computer right now which no doubt you are you know your smartphone you are actually getting a fraction of I Ching did you know that and the reason is is because back in the 1600s the philosopher uh, Gottfried Wilhelm von Liebens actually simplified um, the mathematics system by creating the modern binary system which is the basis of all computing. But he did this based on the I Ching. He went through the I Ching and he noticed the coding in the series of dashes and dots on there and he was able to make this binary system. So if I can take you back to eighth grade computing class, you'll probably remember learning something about like ones and zeros or dashes and dots, right? And so the I Ching is actually a part of the, it's the oldest system of feng shui, I mean, uh, it's the oldest system of Chinese metaphysics. It's actually the basis of all like feng shui principles and uh, it's part of the five arts of Chinese metaphysics. So the five arts are as follows, it goes physiognomy, which is the study of forms and feng shui falls under that. Uh, things like face reading and palmistry also fall under that because it's the study of the shape of things. The second one is a mountain, which is actually, it's not what it sounds like. It's not studying the mountains. That actually also falls under physiognomy. But what it would be is that, you know, you would go into the mountains and go into those meridian spots where the temples were, and you would study more esoteric teachings and even things like Tai Chi and martial arts would be studied under these masters. And the third one would be Chinese medicine. It's, you know, acupuncture, acupressure, and, you know, herb, Chinese herbs and stuff like that. The fourth one is life analysis, which is, you know, a destiny analysis, which is like your Bata chart. Usually it's based on your natal chart. And I've talked about that a lot. Um, the last one, which is where the I Ching follows, is actually under divination. So it's much like the tarot and much like... Um, some things like, uh, you know, angel card readings or, you know, anything you kind of use to clear your mind and kind of ask spirit and, and divine, you know, what kind of is going on at that time. It's almost like, if I can go back to the binary code, a snapshot into a picture of what is going on. You know, if you think of streaming a service, if you think of um, uh, the way you're able to like download stuff and watch it, it's just all the code of, you know, the series of coding. And so the I Ching is actually just a series of coding. Isn't that crazy? So it's the oldest divination system in the world. It was actually founded back, you know, very many, many centuries ago. And um, it was, you know, commentaried on by King Wen. He was actually able to go through the Book of Changes and look through and make commentary and kind of talk about that. And so was his son and also has commentary on it from Confucius. So that goes to show you how old the I Ching is. And so how exactly do I cast these hexagrams? How do I cast the trigrams? What does all this mean? So let's talk about that today also. Before I get into exactly how to read everything, I want to kind of just go over some of the ways of defining the I Ching. And so a lot of the ways that they would actually do back in the day, one of the things that they would do was take yarrow sticks, which is just, you know, these incense sticks, and they would take 50 of them and cast them out and, and also divide them up into a series of yin and yang lines. So the yin line is the broken line and the yang line is the solid line. And so they would divide those up and divide them up into a series of, you know, these three lines to get this trigram. The trigram is the series of three lines. Um, later on, as, you know, technologies evolved and stuff like that, what they would do is they would take a turtle shell and put coins in it. I guess they would find, you know, turtle shells in the banks of the river. They wouldn't kill them, but what they would do is, you know, like have a pet turtle wait till it died or just find them on the river banks. But they would take the turtle shell and they would put the coins in it and they would shake it up and cast the coins out. And they would, based on either, you know, heads or tails, would, you know, make the, the series of lines then also. 
So, but what I do now is I took a nice class in uh, January of this past year and from, you know, Mastery Academy, from the Joey App Academy, who I've spoke highly on before. He's amazing and his students are amazing. His teachers are amazing. It, I've got the E-Chain cards. So you can purchase those on Amazon and I'll put a link below. So this makes it a lot easier than having to cast because they would actually have to cast a series of uh, the coins. They would cast it so many times because you have to like throw a coin out and it's all kinds of, it's very detailed on how you actually do the coins. So I actually just pull the cards. It's a lot easier than having to do that. So that's some of the ways that people divine it. Now, if I can get a little more detail into uh, how to read these and just bear with me because I've never had to describe how exactly I read these. But basically what happens is you have these series of trigrams. And again, these trigrams are the series of three lines. The, there's a name and element associated with each of the eight trigrams. So you have eight trigrams and um, you can put them together, you know, put the, the three lines together three lines on, you know, three lines on bottom, three lines on top, and then you get a series of hexagrams. This is known as the hexagram. It's a series of six lines. So this would be like the element of, this is thunder and metal, you know, so you get two different elements or thunder and marsh, you know, and so then you're able to read them. So uh, eight times eight, you get a total of 64 hexagrams. And they all have like different names. Um, like I mentioned, the Joey App cards actually have the name written on the bottom. And sometimes the name actually just kind of gives a little more detail into them. And the way I like to kind of liken or reference this is, you know, earlier I talked about the matrix. I talked about the coding and being able to like stream, you know, um, content and all that. So if you, or actually I didn't talk about the matrix, but if you look at the movie, the matrix, when Neo goes in and he's fighting all those agents and he's able to see all the coding of, you know, where he's fighting and where everything is going to be at. This is the way I liken these hexagrams to. It's like a, a series of coding based on the time you ask your question based on the time you get your reading. It's like a snapshot of these ones and zeros, a snapshot of the picture you're streaming, a snapshot of the matrix coding into uh, your life. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? <laughs> so you're able to get this coding, this, this binary code, and you're able to get a snapshot of a picture into what is going on and the advice you're supposed to give somebody. So that's the way I like to liken it. Um, if I can get into a little more detail on the way I actually read. So I pull one card up. This is, this, hopefully I don't lose you. I pull one card. So this one's heaven. As you can see, it's all young lines. And so it might be something where you ask a question of, you know, when am I going to sell my business? And so I would look at this and I would say, well, heaven is represented by the month of May. And so I would look at that and say, well, you're going to sell your business in May. But then if you ask the question, when am I going to sell my business and uh, am I going to make a profit when I sell it? What I then could do, if you notice, I usually pull three cards. I usually have three cards. It's because the one card transforms into three separate cards. So what I would do is pull up what is called a Yao card and transform that line. And so I pulled up a number two card. So I would then transform this second line. And then I would be able to get more detail. And so that is the results card. What I would then do is I would take a series of lines with from within this first hexagram I pulled and I would be able to give more detail into what your process is going to be like. So the first card is your answer. The second card is kind of the process and the feelings you'll feel in between. And the third card is actually the result of um, asking, you know, the, the action you're going to take. So selling your business would be number one. Number two is how it's going to be, how it's going to feel, you know, what the process would be like. And the third one would be like, um, what would the result be from, you know, selling the business, so to speak. So I hope you guys really understood a little bit more onto how the I Ching works, a little bit onto how to kind of relate to it and how important it actually is. Because like I said, it's one of the oldest 
systems of divination. So if you enjoyed this video, keep up with my I Ching insights for each month so you can see what ancient wisdom the I Ching has to offer you. And you know, if you would like to keep up with more of my work, visit my website, westtexasfengshui.com, as well as you know, subscribe down below if you'd like the content. And also I'm gonna plug my podcast, now available on iTunes, uh, Google Store. It's available on the Alexa as a daily flash briefing. It's a five minute feng shui by Candace. So I'll catch you guys very soon.